What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So just a quick video today. I am going to be doing a lot of tutorial based videos over the next couple of days and weeks. I'm getting a lot of questions, mostly off newcomers coming to the game. I do try to upload daily, if not twice a day, um, just to have content out for you guys, especially Dream Team Chronicles. There's usually one episode of that a day. And then I try to do either a player review or a tutorial type video uh, in the morning time. So you can watch whenever you want to watch. I've got a ton of videos there. Still need to start out my playlist, right? But one of the questions I get asked, I have done a video on it. I will drop the link below. Um, the video is based on player form, right? So you will notice that the live update is now back in the game. And you will see this is visually represented by players that are, you know, in real life having a good season or playing week to week that had a good week last week or a bad week last week. So in the case of Mo Salah, he is on an E rating, which is the worst that you can possibly have. And it goes from A, B, C, D to E, right? So there's five, okay? Now, what this means is basically in the simplest terms possible, anyone that's a long-term player of Pez will know this. You can skip on maybe to the three-minute mark in this video. But for anyone else that's a newcomer or needs a refresher or a lot of people that downloaded the game over Christmas time, uh, there was no live update. The update was just basically uh, stopped while the World Cup was going on. So for a couple of weeks, there was no live update. Now it's back and people are asking what it means to have, you know, A beside their letter or B beside their name or whatever it is. So basically what it means, as simple as possible, is that you get stat decreases and increases based on the player's in-form uh, rating in the game. Now these are represented these are represented by form arrows. They're not represented by the rating A, B, C, D, or E. They're represented by actual form arrows here, ranging from red, orange, yellow, and green to like a blue, kind of a luminous blue color, right? So when we go into Salah here and we have a look at Salah, he's going to be on terrible condition, but Lewandowski is actually going to be on top form with, a be with the best rating this week because of his form in real life for Barcelona in the La Liga last week. So it goes a week behind. So obviously you're going to have the likes of Lewandowski there uh, that is on A form, and then you're going to have a mixture of players. So Mbappe is on a D rating. So what this basically translates to is that when you actually enter in a match, and I will do an updated eFootball 2023 video on this, even though I've done one with eFootball 22, and it's still the same kind of data. What this basically means is that if Mbappe is going to be, Mbappe is going to have more of a chance of being on poor condition in game, right? So this will change from a letter to an arrow in game, okay? And when it does, you are going to get stat increases or decreases. If you have a top condition player, so if Lewandowski is on top condition, he will get a plus two, uh, or plus three to his overall stats so for example with Lewandowski his offensive awareness on this card will go from an 84 to an 86 or an 87 and then depending on how you train him up you can max out players very 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 effectively and then it's the same for the likes of Mbappe the likes of Messi is on a C rating that's just a normal default you've got Benzema who's on a B rating so it's more chance of him being up uh, rather than not um so yeah there's a lot to get into it like with that but this video is basically just for you guys to rotate in and show you you know a very easy tip um you can do it on both ways right so the first way is obviously just obviously just go into the normal players go to the live update rating and then go to a and b right i usually stick to a and b and then obviously you're just going to sort and filter all those players that are on top form so you can decide right well this week you know i need to have a striker or i need a dmf or i need a center back there's your three boys that are going to be there. Casemiro's on a B. Marquinhos is on a B. And then you've obviously got Benzema or Lewandowski to choose from if you want players. It just maximizes your chance of having players that are up form. You don't want having players on your starting 11 that you need to swap out with your bench. Now, obviously, this doesn't really apply if you've got a team full of legends and you've got like a load of epic players and players that have just stuck on B rating. Um, because all the legends always have B rating, as you can see here uh, on my team with the players here, Messi, all these players, the epics and the classic players, the legend players, they will always have a B rating. So they're always kind of like going to be consistent. Um, you can see Zico there. It's going to be always on a B rating. So for this week, right, I would definitely recommend, I'm going to recommend maybe four or five players. If you want to do it in another way as well, you can go on to eFootball DB, click on the players page, click on search filters, and you can search 8A. Um, and then obviously that will give you the same players that are in the game 
and you can just kind of sort through them a little bit different and you can actually train up the players and simulate what the players will look like so say you wanted to buy uh tiago silva and you're saying like right i just need to buy tiago silva i know he's on a form let's see what he can train up to and you can say right all i need is i don't need to worry about pace all i need to do is get up his defensive capabilities as high as they can possibly go um and see how he goes or whatever like that and then you ha you know that you're going to have Thiago Silva that's going to be in your starting 11 for this week and he's going to be always up on top form like 90 percent of the time right so that's just another way of doing it um but yeah back to the actual game these are the guys I would recommend if you don't have them um they would these are the guys I would definitely recommend just as a bit of a kind of a a, a reminder to swap out your some of your players if you've been playing with them like the first one I would look at is getting rid of. If you've got any of these players in your squad, definitely get rid of all these D's and E's, lads. Um, you know, be getting rid of Salah, Mbappe, Son, Haaland, Ederson, Bernardo Silva, Modric, Rudiger, David De Gea. I'm sure that one of ye or all of ye will have at least one to two of those players in your squad. Uh, Hernandez is always a big one that people have as well. Um, but other than that, there isn't that many players in here um that are going to be you know a huge downgrade obviously on c form you can keep those guys and then for the guys that are on a and b i would stick to probably most of the a guys get your Lewandowski's in there get your rodri get your dybala get your bruno Bruno's actually a very good card um he's somebody that i think you have to play when he's on top form because he does get the stat increases i think that he's not somebody that i would be putting in ahead of like for the likes of me i have zico so unless bruno is going to be on top top form I'm probably not going to be able to justif justify playing Bruno, even though he's had about like 50 or 60 cards um, and there's a lot of options with him. I'm probably not going to be able to justify playing him unless he's getting a guaranteed uh, farm arrow, which is going to give him the max. Do you know what I mean? It's going to give him the max stat increase, right? So I definitely think Bruno is a very interesting choice as well, because if we go over here, I know that the lads at eFootballDB are working on simulating uh, the farm arrows into this as well, as far as I know. Um, but if you look at Bruno here and we just take a look at just a couple of his stats here, um, we could be like going from a 92 overall. Yeah, that's fine. Obviously, he's not going to compare with Zico. But if he gets a stat increase, it's going to be a plus two to three on literally all of these stats. So he's going to have 90 low pass. Uh, he's going to have 78 to 80 acceleration. It depends on the stat increase. It's done on a percentage based uh, form. So we will do a video on it on a deep dive on that. But I just wanted to share my picks for a few of the players. Bruno, Rodri, Lewandowski, and then there's a couple here. Thiago Silva is a monster. Martinez is like Romario. De Maria is a beast of a player as well. Odegaard is good. Ben Yedder is good. Uh, I would say Oshman is really, really good. Ramsdale is a beast keeper. Ward Pros, if you're looking for an actual beastly free kick taker, he rivals David Beckham for the free kick stakes. And you don't need to worry about him never you know being down because he's going to have that card um david and isaac are good as well these guys so there are some nice players and then gabby so my picks would probably be gabby uh bruno Lewandowski, and then way up here at the top we would probably finish with uh rodri who's an absolute tank as well so uh let me know what you guys think let me know if it clears up a few bits and pieces and they're the players i would swap out just as a bit of a reminder with the a up with the a form and i'll talk to you in a bit peace